Hello and welcome to Wildcard Wednesday, where we play some games with reckless abandon. I am the voice of the Institute, Larissa, and tonight I'm joined by the man behind the curtain himself, Mark. How you doing? I'm really excited for this. Like, I think I, this is going to be really good. I have heard so much about this game. Everyone has told me that they love this game. I'm finally doing it, and I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, XCOM, Enemy Unknown. I'm Not excited. I'm XCOM super excited. Or XCOM, Enemy Within, or any of the other XCOMs. There's too many with all weird or naming conventions. Ugh. All right, the point is, much. you've never played this before, right? I've never touched an XCOM game in my life. Okay. I'm seeing, I'm seeing some mixed feelings about your chances here in chat. <laughs> uh, yeah. But you know what? You're like one of the most like surprisingly, oh God, I think I've dug oh. myself in here. Oh, is this gonna be a compliment? I, I was gonna say oh surprisingly my. competent, but oh you know what? God. Let's up the ante. You're one of the most surprisingly <gasps> awesome people I know. So, Whoa. like, I don't understand why you can do Stellaris, but not Red Alert. That like <laughs> really messes with me. So I am I am like really on Team Larissa for this one. I think you're gonna nail it, man. Yes, I like this support and this enthusiasm. So, so okay, you've been telling wait, me. Wait, I want to make a joke. Couple... I want to make okay, a joke. Okay, uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm on your team. So strap me on one of those rocket cars they use to break land speed records, because I am on the road to disappointment. Ha! Uh, fuck you. I was thinking about that before we started. <laughs> <laughs> How long were you devising that one? Oh, 15, 20 minutes. Okay, let's get, oh, let's, let's do this. Oh, yeah. wait, 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 wait. Actually, you, you know what? You were wanting I'll... to lay some ground rules or something? Not some ground rules, but I think if you're going to do the tutorial, which I think couldn't hurt, I'll talk during the boring parts of the tutorial. How about that? All right, that sounds good. But also, yeah. I believe that you can rename people in this game. Oh, yeah. No, we're going to have a lot of fun with the... Uh, with the squad system, but it's gonna be awesome. So, chat, maybe maybe we'll uh, we'll commemorate some of you guys. Oh no, for sure. But we gotta have chat in in the game, and we gotta have me in the game too. Like maybe you, I guess. Yeah, well, of course I'm gonna be in it. Did you say normal difficulty? I did. That's bold. Oh, I'll, I'll shut up. a bunch of idiots. Yeah, I'd be running so fast right now. Well, <laughs> yeah. as fast as I can. I'd probably just take a taxi, but my point stands. <laughs> also, I think I'm way louder than you. You should mess with your uh, thing. smooth transition to a recording device that's never been done before. Hello, Commander. I love it when they do that. Oh my god, it's Optimus Prime. In the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative. To yes. oversee our first and last line of defense. This sounds like Your an excellent idea. Your have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Good luck, Commander. Dude, I got shivers. I wonder who the other candidates were. <laughs> Apparently, no one good. 
This is Keith Ice Maverick and Kate. The, He's the veteran of 47 said, campaigns. Me through the no, 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 no. Let's get. Oh, shut. Sorry, I'll shut up. I'll shut up. Okay, well, I guess that wasn't as long as I thought it was. Oh, yeah, we didn't want me to talk oh, over wait. the guy saying turn no, on the... Now he's talking again. Ah, oh, Jesus. After ruling out the possibility of a down satellite, we now believe these objects to be extraterrestrial in nature. Shortly after impact, German officials received reports of mass hysteria and freak weather around one of the impact zones. Then things went dark. At 2100 hours, a chopper carrying a German military recon team went down in the area after they reported being fired upon. As you know, Germany is a member of the Council, and they have requested our assistance. Our mission is to assess the situation on the ground, ascertain the current status of the German recon team, and investigate the extraterrestrial objects. Central out. All right, so now I can launch the mission into Kuhn. And go. yet, the time for my joke has passed, so what's the point? Yeah. Looks like we found the crash site. Roger, Voodoo 3-1. Any sign of activity? Negative. Nothing's moving down there. Okay. Set her down nearby. Central. You getting all this? Copy that, Delta Squad. First things first. Let's get you out of the open and into cover. Whatever and so is, begins the tutorial. Be Delta One, take point. My god. Take also, cover. thanks oh my to Rusty Holt 64 for some Schlim Schlams. Yes. Speaking of Schlim Schlams, if you guys use hashtag charity anytime you cheer some Schlim Schlams, uh, it gets donated for the next little while. Oh. Yeah. Somebody. Now I've got to do right-clicking again. Oh boy, here I go right-clicking again. <laughs> what is it with you and right-clicking? Also, who is it know. that the charity is uh, getting sent to? Which charity? Uh, direct Relief. Direct, direct relief, relief, okay. Which provides relief directly. <laughs> nice to people who yes. need it, I assume. Yeah, so send yes. a slum slam. Hashtag charity. Hashtag charity goes for a good cause. Uh, also, um, did you notice how... Uh, as soon as the thing on the back of the transport open, they all like kind of stagger out, and then they did that like move forward symbol. Yeah. Uh, they wouldn't do that. I've been reading books about Vietnam, oh. and well, the one thing I learned is that you want to get off the chopper as soon as fucking possible. <laughs> I mean, it is kind of like a big, uh, a big neon sign saying "Kill me now," when you. And why were they? They were using, like, hand movements. He could have just said, let's get off. I mean, Central. the thing is making a fuck ton of noise. They're behind, like, two jet engines. The enemy knows you're coming. Yeah, but maybe they can't hear each other over, for a better vantage point. over the, oh. everything. Yeah? Okay. I'll, I'll... Well, no, they got radios. They got... They must have radios. Delta Four, go check it out. It's a long way from your position, and there's no available cover between... What's your plan right now? So you better double time it. Uh, to follow the tutorial. So right now... I'm going to dash over beside this bus because it's telling me to. Okay. So I'm going to lean against these polizai. Oh. Jesus, anything to get you in Germany, eh? <laughs> <laughs> looks like one of the recon teams, sir. It looks like something. Is that your man, Delta Four? Negative, sir. That's someone else. Oh, hey, Dr. it's the German word for help. What's he saying? He is saying, help me. That's like help that him said Marla Pin. Yeah. coming from somewhere yeah. north of the squad's current position. Based on its strength, probably from inside a structure. Thank you, Doctor. Delta, advance and infiltrate that building. And remember, stay in cover. All right, so I'm going to go break into this building. That's the goal here. So we got to dash over here, move everyone closer, and then we'll break in. It'll be great. Well, you know what they say, when in Kolonge. K 
coon. I got a lot of blood here. Ugh. Roger. Ooh. See where it's coming from. Central. I think I just found another Ooh. one of the recon team. Oh, what's that What's that advertisement say? Looks like it's been uh, dead for something a week. like we're having fun, aren't we? Even more perplexing <laughs> is the cause of death. It appears Coming off a little desperate, that ad. <laughs> yeah. From the We're having fun, aren't we? So Buy our beer. I have visual on the object. Permission to approach. It's the only okay. Between you We're gonna go investigate Permission the thing that killed everyone. This seems like a good idea. Knight3150 says, hand signals might be better. This is referring to my comment about them getting off the transport. Uh, hand signals might be better as they're recruited from different countries. Well, they better all speak the same language or else they're gonna be really screwed. Right, yeah, also, You're this Russian guy is speaking moving. with the best American accent I've ever heard from a <laughs> Russian. <laughs> I think he might be a former KGB spy. Okay, people. Probably. Now let's get inside. Actually, that's another exciting thing about this game, eh? You know what, you can, like, specify which country they're from and let's take a look. change the flag on the back of their stuff. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna break in. Enter now. In position. We'll Camera's split. doing weird Copy. things, I don't like it. Get okay. in there and get to cover. All right, we'll click on the arrow spot. Delta two, that door's in our way. So that guy was pretty down. badass when he went through that glass window. Yeah, he just told me to to bust through the door because it's in my way. This <laughs> sounds like a game that was engineered for me, but without Probably, yeah. the cliffs, which is great. Yeah, I don't think there's any fall damage in this game. Yeah, I love that. Rissa, you have chosen the right game to play. <laughs> Dude, he's got like eyes dune target. eyes going on. He's been on the spice. Copy Delta Three. Okay, everyone, get into position nearby, but do not approach. Doctor, see if you can communicate with him. Tell him to drop his weapon. Um, Future Planet wants you to know you may want Hello. to instruct your men to exercise restraint when using explosives. I'm sorry, I'm a little distracted by her really bad German. <laughs> Fine. Also, would you mind turning on subtitles? We've had some requests for that. Ah. Yes. I don't like the looks of this. Let us do that. Interface, maybe? Yes. Sweet. Okay. Subtitles. Because we like it. All right. Uh, yeah. I guess we're moving on to the little yellow arrow again. I like not having to make any decisions for myself. This is the entire game to be the tutorial, just telling <laughs> you exactly what to do. Yeah, I like button clicking. <laughs> Delta three. Move in and just. All right. I, I doesn't. That doesn't sound that fun. Sounds fine to me. All right. We're gonna go. Take him down. Why are you just approaching him so casually? He clearly looks not great. My God. Ooh, mind control. What the hell is going on? Delta three is down. Well, you already got somebody got killed. Fucked. Good work. Not Ivanov. Uh oh. Oh no. He's the down. next guy's dead. Delta one is down. I was so attached to that one. Central. I was attached to Ivanov. Well, I wonder this why. Got me pinned down, taking heavy fire. Okay. Damn it. Delta two, your flank two. Find some better cover. Okay, so I've got. Two, okay, I see. I see why they're telling me to move over there. Okay, I'll move over there. All right, Delta Two. Weapons free. Get ready to fire. Ooh, some actual gunplay. All right. Press Enter to open the tactable UI, and then I'll fire at him. Great. Yeah. Eighty-four percent chance to hit. That sounds like good odds. Let's shoot. I bet you can do it. Yeah, it's a tutorial. It was like a hundred percent. Nice shot. Rate really. I bet Delta you any four, money. You're freed up to move. Get out of there and get into cover. Okay. Let's get your little now ass over there. At the enemy in front of you. Okay. Get your ass to Mars. <laughs> um, grenade. So I can press three and then I've got a little hotkey. I like it. All right. 
Throw it. Go. And it blew up. Get ready for their Wait, the grenade hit that body. Did you catch that? <laughs> yeah. There's another one coming in behind. That's a very light body. Oh no, now she's dead too. It's just you now, Delta Two. Let's tip the odds in our favor. Look around for a position where you can flank the enemy. All right, rotate the camera. I like being able to rotate the camera. That's something that I wish it was easier in Stellaris. It takes a little too much work. That guy was pretty cavalier about all your friends dying, by the way. <laughs> he really was. You a clear shot from that position. Just you, Delta Two. Why don't you look around and try not to be an idiot? <laughs> yeah, why don't you like do your fucking job? Okay, 75% chance of doing it right. Let's see what happens. Right to the head. You alien bitch. I hate those things. I'm glad they're dead. <laughs> Central. I think that's One person I'm glad so isn't dead is Future Planet, who just subscribed to Twitch Prime. Thank you. Roger that, Delta. Let's Secure make the sure there is a Future the Planet by playing this extraction. game. Ooh, I thought my transition was good, but yours was also good. Yeah, I like it. Sweet. All right. Identify base location. Oh, Ooh. yeah. So I get to pick where in the world my base is? Yep. So air and space for North America. All aircraft and aircraft weapon cost 50% less to purchase, build, and maintain versus Europe. Our laboratories and workshops cost 50% less to build and maintain. Well, that just sounds better. Can you not pick Asia or South America or whatever? Well, they're red, so... Why not? Why can't you do that? Oh, maybe yeah. it's difficulty, perhaps, or something? Could that be it? Because it uh, looks like you could press confirm. Oh, uh, okay, red does mean difficult according to Harlequin Red Sky, so, yeah. Oh. Okay. That's weird. Asia, South America, and Africa are more difficult. Is that racist? No. Okay. I mean, okay. it does seem a little bit Euro centric. Euro centric. But... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so where are you gonna go? I think in Europe. Yeah, that I've always like wanted you. to live in Apparently, Europe. We are coming home. Really? Well, a little bit. Whatever. Uh, your jelly? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> also, thanks to One Massless guy. Wave for subscribing with Twitch Massless Prime. Massless Wave, thank you. Massless like Wave, it. not Wave. <laughs> That's what I said. Shut up. Sure, you did. What, what I meant to say. Oh, they. Whatever they are, they nearly took out a squad of our best soldiers. If you'll excuse me, doctors, the commander is waiting in mission control. Their technology is far beyond ours. Then I'd say our work is cut out for us, doctor. Welcome to XCOM HQ, commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold, providing tactical support for our field operations and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Ooh, I get to promote the one guy who made it out. That's cool. Anyone who lives under your command gets a promotion. <laughs> Basically. Man, I fell off Team Larissa pretty quick. Yeah, you really did. All right, sorry, sorry, Larry. I think you're doing a great job, and I think it was the tutorial that killed your men, not you. Which is located there in the barracks. All right, we'll view the soldiers. Look, Rodrigo Marino. Only one recruit from Delta Squad. That's a cool name. From our last mission, yeah. Commander. And I'd say a promotion is in order. Uh, suddenly he changed. What? Why is it keep changing? What? What am I? Oh, my push to talk also scrolls through them. Oh, shit. Oh, cool. You should go to uh, voice activated, I guess, then, eh? As you know, Commander, every soul. Eh. Oh, no. Oops. I clicked off the game. That's different. fine. This particular soldier has yeah, this is going to be a huge problem. Heavy weapons. As he gains additional combat experience, we should continue his training along these lines. This soldier will now carry a rocket launcher in addition to his standard weapon. 
Ooh, Ooh a rocket launcher? I like it. Wait, so did you fix the uh, push to talk issue? Dr. Asked nope. To see when the research oh, lab so what are you going to do? It sounded important. Keep struggling with this. I think you should just go to voice activated. You can do it. It's fine. To the research lab. <sighs> fine. Give me a moment. Just stop burping all the time and you'll be, it'll be no problem at all. I can't do that. <laughs> also, Mathis Wave wants to know, does the promotion come with therapy? Ah, uh, no. I assume Larissa is working on her push to talk and can't well, say. Yes, it does. No. <laughs> I did say it, but however, I changed uh, OBS first and not you, so you couldn't hear me, but chat could. So. Oh really? Oh, yep. I'm I'm embarrassed. Yeah, you should be. Also, Kaiser logo says, "Why don't you pause, go into the controls, and change to a button so I can see the squad?" That would be better. Idea, research yeah. labs. Okay. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. Research immediately. I like it. I can't do xenobiology yet. Oh, that's annoying. She has a flawless German accent. Did you notice that? Uh, it sounds more French to me than actual German. So does your German, though. Well, my German accent always morphs into French, even if I'm not trying. Um, but... I can do really good real German. <laughs> oh, apparently she's Swiss and Austrian. Okay, that that's makes a lot more sense. That makes so much more sense, because she doesn't yeah. sound like any of the German people I know. And I know quite a lot. Weird flex, but okay, as the kids say. <laughs> this research will take some time. We will notify you once it is complete. Commander to mission control. Commander to it mission sounds control. like you are needed elsewhere. Farewell, Commander. If you recover any additional artifacts during your field operations, I would be quite eager to study them. So this is what chat was saying Commander earlier about control. not using all Commander of the... control. Uh, all of the bombs everywhere, right? Like all of the explosives, because she wants them artifacts? Correct. All right. The enemy is testing our capabilities, Commander. We've gotten reports of simultaneous attacks in two different countries. We can only respond to one. The country we help will donate more resources to our cause. But the panic level of the country we choose not to help what? will rise. It's not an easy decision, oh, Commander, shit. but it's one you'll have to make. <laughs> oh no tough choices i like yeah. it i'm a little behind what are your choices uh los angeles or chung i don't know how to say this city's name okay los angeles is gonna be a war zone no matter what you do so <laughs> may china. as well just leave it behind yeah yeah let's go to china fuck hollywood man that's what i think yeah understood the troops are waiting for you in the hangar. Commander, before deploying our squad, you can choose which soldiers to send out there. Oh, I you gotta rename your guys. Up our yeah. His combat experience makes him invaluable on the battlefield. All right, let's edit rookie Mbeki. Customize. Yes. First name. Can you change gender and stuff too? Uh No. Damn. I don't okay. see that option. All right. Who wants to replace Chiombo Mbeki? Do we have any candidates in chat who want a guy named after them who will most likely die, so keep that in mind too. <laughs> All right, you do the picking. I'll do the typing. <laughs> uh Okay, Valerius <laughs> or Vel Velarus is saying sure, he doesn't seem too into it. <laughs> um yeah, actually this is the worst way to uh to do this. Instead of saying I volunteer or whatever, tell me a good name, right? And we will assume that it's your name? Or well no, like type in the name you want it named, as in like Derek Johnson or whatever. Alright, I I'm seeing Ryan Villardi, how about that? All right. 
I kind of want to keep the African name, though. I don't know which country that flag belongs to. That's... Oh, God. Am I going to get this wrong? I think it's Nigeria. You've got access to Google. Soldier McSoldier Face it was suggested. <laughs> it is Nigeria. I was right. Excellent. All right. Cool. Cannon fodder. <laughs> uh, that's funny. All right. Have you picked a name? Yeah, I thought it was going to be... Oh, wait. Uh, Kwame Mugabe? Don't know how to spell that. Um, how about I put it in the stream? Okay. I'm just going to look this up real quick to make sure it's not <laughs> a, like... <laughs> a bad name? <laughs> yeah, or, like, I don't know, some dictator. Yeah. Okay, I think it's. I think we're fine. All right. Kwame Mugabe. I don't think we need to change any of the physical features. Nickname. Oh, I can't make the nickname. You gotta earn a nickname, rookie? man. Armor tent. Ooh. Wait, Mugabe's a dictator. Dictator of ah. Zimbabwe. Nope. But I looked Made up the name. Out. Robert. Oh, yeah. Okay. I thought I recognized the name, but I must, like, I was like, ah, it's probably nothing. This is what we get for trusting chat. <laughs> yeah, ugh. Okay, how about T'Challa? T'Challa, okay. Is that from something? That's from Black Panther. Oh, from... oh right, yes. of course, okay. Wakanda forever, bitches. All right. Cool. I remember we got at Dragon Con. There was a guy dressed up as, uh, uh, wait, wait, oh shit, oh shit, I forgot, I forgot to go into what I wanted to talk to you about. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, so the best way to play this game, according to my, like, one playthrough, um, <laughs> is to have a theme. Okay. Um, and that you should really go into this, because what I did is I played as a insane megalomaniac mad scientist. And I had all my soldiers be nameless henchmen. So like my first one was named number one, and then I had number two, and then whenever I one died, I just named the new one number five, or number six, and so on. Okay. So by a couple hours into the game, I got like soldiers number 23 and soldiers number 54, and I was not emotionally attached to any of them, and I sent them to their death all the time. See, I want to get emotionally attached. Yeah, so you got to choose, man. You got to you gotta either do some. Now we're gonna name them after famous people and characters as okay. suggested by chat. That's what oh, so I think. Also we like do. get a good color scheme going and pick out some cool some cool like looks to them. Yeah, see I like this like ice blue thing that yeah. T'Challa's got going. Although maybe a purple is a better one because the whole vibranium thing is purple. Yeah, go to go to customize again and see what the choices are. Oh, we gotta do helmet, man. Put on a helmet. Helmets are sweet. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is garish. This don't, is don't like Skeletor. That. Jesus. Don't, don't do that. Oh my also, god. Also, Skeletor is not that pink. <laughs> Nothing's that pink. Okay, here's here's a decent purple. You're going purple squad? <laughs> We're gonna do purple, guys. I want a helmet. Oh, these helmets look lame. Really? I haven't met oh. okay. yeah, those helmets aren't the best. Alright, we're just gonna do his Yeah, his original thing was What's armor deco? Ooh. Uh oh, I only have two options. Well this one's better. People were saying T'Challa needs a beard. Can I actually change that? Oh, facial uh, hair, yes. Facial hair, yeah. Beard. Want a full beard. Give me a full beard. Come on. And now I'm cycled through. Okay, that's fine. This one looks close, yeah. I'm sure there's mods and stuff for this game we could probably uh, throw in here. If probably. If we really start getting to care. 
<laughs> I'm I'm really gonna care about Kawami T'Challa. I hope you do. I hope. Uh, okay. I'm gonna be excited for the first death you go through here. Although that sounds awful. <laughs> uh, I suppose it's too early for me to change my everything, isn't it? My loadout. Yeah, probably. And stuff. Yeah. All right. I think SQ Marino. I don't remember what SQ stands for. Where's he from? Marino? Uh, yeah, someone in chat says we need a Captain Rogers, so if we have anybody from <laughs> uh, America, I would like to get Captain America. Okay. Um, no, Rodrigo Marino, I think, is from Venezuela? Is that what that... No, is? that's... Uh... Oh, God, I know this one. I know... <clears throat> Come on, Mr. Vexillology. Uh... Shit. Is Argentina? that Argentina? No, Argentina has the bigger... No. Is that Argentina? Someone says oh, maybe shit. it's it, Uruguay? It is, it is Argentina. Well, looks bad on you, doesn't it? You know what they did, though? They messed up the flag ratio because the real flag of Argentina is not a 1 to 2, so... Oh, you know. yeah, that's what... That's where they screwed up, yeah. And we've got yeah. Juan Carlos Vargas from Brazil. You know what? I am that's calling bullshit on that flag. That could be Nicaragua. <laughs> hmm. Well, Can you hover over it? Will it tell you? N no. No. Damn nope. it. Okay, but let's let's rename Vargas. Rico okay, Rodriguez was suggested. Rico Rodriguez, that's awesome. <laughs> Rico. I'm not from Buenos Aires. And I say, kill them, some of them. <laughs> and I still can't nickname him. Rude. Well, I guess he's... Yeah. Uh... Eh. Okay. Zen Lord's telling me to turn in my uh, flag expert card, but I'm still not 100% sure that's not Nicaragua. Why does this hairstyle exist? Why is this I, an option? I haven't... I can't actually see it. Oh, okay. It's like a weird Roman Fro thing, maybe? No. No. I don't know. I don't accept this, though. Sure. That works. We'll make it crazy colored, though, just for fun. That He's is a wild fun. child. Oh, my God. With his little soul patch. Yes. I think you've ruined this. What, what have you... <laughs> why? Because he's, he's unpredictable, okay? He's the wild, loose cannon type. He's probably going to die soon. Yeah, but he's got to wear purple. Where's my purple? Yeah, make sure you select the same purple for all of them, eh? Uh, yeah, they need to match. Okay, 13. Yeah. I think this is the same color here. Yeah, they're looking good. 13, yep. All right. Okay, Daniel Smith from Britain. Ooh, that's a boring <laughs> name. Oh, how about we do one for Space Dog? Yes, Daniel, that's already right. Yep. What's his last name? Does anyone know? Orit. Are you sure it's not Space Doc? <laughs> Daniel Orit, and his nickname will be Space Doc. Okay, good. Can we give him a ponytail, though? Oh, God. <laughs> Can we make him just look super lame? <laughs> <laughs> All right, nobody clip this and send it to him, so we're going to keep this on a DL. Super DL. Uh, this one's close enough to what having a, a ponytail looks like. I don't think you can actually have a ponytail. See what the It would not let that are. thing of his into the army. Yeah. Oops. No, why did it give me a helmet? I didn't want a helmet. Ugh. Reset everything. Okay. Yeah, that no, click is a real nightmare. <laughs> Good to go. Yes, Commander. Good to go. Yes, Commander. I'm on it, Commander. Yes, Commander. Yes, Commander. Affirmative. Are there no oh, British so accents? Affirmative. Affirmative. <sighs> Solid copy. Can you uh, nope. rotate him? Uh... 
No. Lame. Super lame. But I think Daniel Orit from Britain. The resemblance is uncanny. I will give him that. <laughs> okay, and we need to change Marino's color. Right, we got the purple squad, folks. Excellent. Launch mission. So who's in our who's in our team? Alright, we got T'Challa, we got Marino, we got Rod Rodriguez, we got and Orit. Who's Marino named after or uh, for? He's the only one that made it through the tutorial, so he gets oh, to stay right. that way. He gets to keep his name? <laughs> yeah. We're heading into China for the next operation. We've picked right. up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. All right, let's launch this mission. You're uh, working without a net here, Larry. You uh, <laughs> you nervous? Uh, a little bit, yeah. I just invested all of this time into to naming them. Do we got Look any uh, estimates in chat of who's going to die first? Yeah, make your bets. Hold on, soldier. Before you move out, let's see what's inside that building. Your squad mate is closer, so let him check it out. Okay, so left ship and tab. Oh my god, chat is not liking Rico's <laughs> chances. Aw, Rico. Get over there, Rico. Good. Wait, that's, is now that Rico? Open the door. Yeah. Quietly, so you don't reveal your position to the enemy. Okay. I'm gonna be super quiet. I think Rico's gonna die first, but I hope Space Doc dies first. Okay, we okay. open the door. Now take cover inside. We're gonna sneak All in right. there. Now I want a man on the roof of that building. See if you can find a way up there, soldier. Uh. All right, Marino. Which building did you want me on top of? This one. No? Yes. Uh, oh, oh, I see, I see. We'll go there. Okay. I get it. I'm quickly gonna look up if you can there fall off rooftops are. in this game. <laughs> Advance toward the enemy and get into cover. Hold your fire until I give the word. Okay. So they found me. Our initiative's all screwed up. Ugh. All right. And now I get to start selecting my own things, don't I? Yeah. You gotta make some choices here, Larry. Right there. What's your What's your thought process right now? Um, get in cover. We're gonna hide behind this this porta potty. This sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Larry, you don't want to be nearby when that thing blows. <laughs> oh, okay. We got cover destruction. That's a thing. All right. Um, should I go move or should I shoot? Or I, I have two actions, right? I can move and shoot. Or I shoot and move? don't remember. And. Can I actually hit anything? That's a pretty shitty chance. That's a better chance. I'm behind it. What are we looking at here? But shooting ends your turn, says Harley Quinn Red Sky. Okay. So let's get to cover first then. Uh, how do I get out of here? I don't want to... I don't want to do it. So can I please... I'd bet on escape. It's not working. Oh my god. What about, yeah. uh... Backspace? No. Blacked. No? <laughs> People are saying escape, but apparently escape doesn't work. Okay. Uh, I'm scared now. More info. Uh, right click maybe outside of it? No. Oh, apparently we're still stuck in the tutorial, so you can't. Oh. What a twist. <laughs> We've been in the tutorial this entire time. Oh my god. All right, well, we'll go for the higher chance. See what happens. I feel like we've lost some agency. <laughs> okay, well, that ended up working out okay. Uh, let's go over here. Okay. Rico, can you hit them? 
Not even a little bit. Okay. So Throw what if eight. I like Overwatch? What does that do? So if we do Overwatch and then I move my other two squad members into a better flanking position, then if he moves, then at least I've got some covering suppression type fire, right? That sounds like oh, a good yeah. strategy to me. Overwatch okay. is awesome. So T'Challa, you should go hide. I can't, I wanna, still wanna get an angle on you, so. Here maybe? Here maybe, let's try it. All right, that's a pretty shitty chance, but it. Eh, what let's is it? Do 25? It. Okay. 25% chance to hit, so it'll go pew pew pew. And I missed. Damn. Damn. But you, you, oh, well. you, I mean, the prophecy came true. You missed, so. <laughs> yeah, it was a true prophecy. Okay, so I don't think I'll be able to get Daniel, Mr. Space Duck, into position. <laughs> I <laughs> in already love this. <laughs> Space Doc, I don't think I can get him into position to actually fire on this guy. Typical Space Doc. So... Never being able to fire on stuff. I think I'll just move... over there. Okay. I see why people are like this. But he just chose, he just chose to wait? He didn't choose to shoot? What? That's crazy. Maybe okay. he's busy. Let's, uh, move. Also, um, I want to give no a quick, sh too. quick shout out to uh, someone on Twitter who replied to our little announcement here with that GIF from Independence Day of the guy saluting really <laughs> Yeah. I just thought that was an adequate uh, GIF. Maybe the best GIF. Oh, you have to manually tell your guys to reload, too. All right, well, you should reload because you're... It's killing time. All right, Rodriguez. This, these it's are It's killing chances. time. <laughs> I was a little late on that, but I just thought it was funny what he said. <laughs> right there, because he's crazy and likes to get up close. The chatter on my ass over the gym. Well, fuck you guys. Because it's a pronounced gif. Yeah, my idiot. The heathen. Heathen. All right, T'Challa's gonna move over there and shoot this guy dead. Come on, T'Challa. Wakanda forever. Wakanda forever, this bitch. It's 70% chance, you gotta do it. Do it. Great work out there. Yeah, Wakanda forever. Fuck, yeah. I'll be assuming command now as you sweep the rest of the area. As always, I'll be offering tactical advice as needed. And remember- Sir Fergus says, let me get my graphics card. Shots from their weapons. <laughs> so keep your eyes open and your heads down. Good luck. Okay, sweet. So now we're waiting, is that? Or we're advancing? Probably advancing, right? Yeah, man. Advance forever. Also <laughs> Wakanda forever, everything forever. Everything forever. What is my objective right now? Like, push forward? Sweep and clear, says Sir Fergus. Advance, says Alan Midva. Mid Alan, somebody. Oh, alien activity. I caused something to happen. Where? Where is this activity? I'm confused. Um. Rodriguez, get your ass over here. <laughs> oh, apparently alien activity just means that it's their turn, not that I actually detect any. Ah, uh, okay. Wow. Lame. It could be two things. I go. Where's it Is there a, sure. a betting system in uh, on Twitch chat here? Uh I don't know. Check chatbot and see what it says. Apparently there is. I have no idea how to. I'm gonna try to make this work though. There's gotta be a way. This looks. Interesting. Should I split the party? Might get some flanking action. I'll just go here. I'll just half commit to everything because half committing always works. Oh. 
Crap. <laughs> that didn't work as planned at all. Okay, I don't <gasps> quite understand how this betting works. Can I shoot them? No targets available. No, I can't. Okay, well, let's uh, move you up a little bit closer, Dan. There they are. See them? Ugly fuckers. Ah, uh, the bastards are hiding. All right, if you're in Twitch chat, I am gonna try to start a bet. I don't know how it's gonna work, so we're gonna have to figure this out together, folks. Oh, interesting. You're okay, soldier. But another one like that. Okay, so the end of you. I'll make shut sure up here. to stay in cover. Daniel Commander, got shot. A veteran's rocket launcher should make easy work of the structure the aliens are using. Let me know when we got a second. And if we're lucky. It'll take out the aliens along with it. That is, if it hits. All right, go for it. Give your little explanation. Okay. I mean, I don't have an explanation. I don't know how this works. I assume... Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, so basically the four options are zero for zero people killed, one for one person killed, two for two people killed, and you know... So you're going to type in exclamation mark bet, then space, your option, as in the number of people you think Lair is going to get killed, another space, and how many credits you want to bet. If you've been participating, <laughs> you've earned credits, you can bet between zero and 100 credits. Okay. Uh, you can type in exclamation mark credits to see how many you have, I believe. Or maybe not. I don't know. Uh, I'll look into this a bit, uh, a bit further after the stream is done, but for now, we'll figure this out. Together! Oh, I'm sorry, it's exclamation mark credit to see your current credits. Yes. <clears throat> Singular, because I name things weird, I guess. Although I don't quite understand how I select a winner. That, I don't know. Well, we'll figure that out together. Okay, Dan. You're gonna go hide. There's some good cover. Give me some good cover. You'll be happy to know that chat is kind of betting on you. Betting on me to, to not kill everybody? Yeah, the most popular choices right now are zero or one. Alright, I can get behind that. Can and... you get behind cover though? No. I just shoot a rocket at it. But I don't have my rocket. Um, that doesn't really do much. I'm gonna. You know what? No, I'm gonna give you Overwatch. Okay. That's what you're gonna do. Alien activity, what are you guys gonna do? Some um, psychic stuff. Oh um, no. They're gonna shoot me. Log8 wants to know are we playing with the DLC? I don't think so. Maybe we should. <clears throat> don't know what, what, uh, what's the name of the DLC? I have no idea. We should look into this after the game, maybe. Yes. Although, this game's been up for a while, so it's possible maybe you bought the, you know, gold edition or whatever. Uh, well, I'm using a friend's copy. <laughs> I didn't oh, okay. buy it, so, you're so I don't know. Yeah, well, no. I'm gonna run over here. Okay. And you're also gonna be on Overwatch. Okay. T'Challa, my hero. I'm gonna hide here. And you're also gonna do Overwatch. Everyone's on suppressing fire. You're being very conservative with your movements here, I believe. Yes, absolutely, because I still need to figure out how this game works. Well, you know what they say, only fools rush in. Yep. 
Uh, no! You bastard, you shot Rico! Okay. Aim carefully, He's just a little wounded. It's still good. It's still good. Fire rocket. Also, yeah. Chrysium says, if an enemy is colored yellow, one of your guys is flanking it. I did not know that. Oh. Okay. Go so right here. Theoretically, we shoot the thing. Yeah, let's Rocket do it. time! Boom! Hoorah! Hoorah! Good work out there, Strike One. If I may, Commander, the labs are on high alert. Teams are still oh, you did it! Your orders. I did we it! We begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. Ooh, Zero wow. deaths! Zero deaths! All right, I'm gonna stop the betting and we'll figure out how I make this happen. <laughs> All right. No more betting, folks. That's cheating. Alan Medva. Mediv. Everyone that bet on Zero has been rewarded. Excellent. Hey, T'Challa's been promoted. Nice. Just Click like to it promote. Sounds, the support class Ooh. provides that intangible edge our squads need. They make it's everyone a around grenade. them better. Eat. Deploy a smoke grenade once per mission. The smoke confers 20 defense to all units, not just allies. Ah, and lasts through the enemy turn. Okay. Oh All right. <laughs> Look at Daniel. He's wounded for over the a week. Artifacts are being what a slob. The research Daniel. team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order. Oh, Commander. hey, Larry. Hey, what? The stream just broke for me. I don't know if that's my problem or yours. Uh, I don't see any problems. I refreshed it and it was fine. So it looks like okay. I'm an idiot. Good work, everybody. <laughs> Good work. I'm glad everything has worked out fine for everyone. Commander, Shh. we have an incoming transmission from the council. The council's talking to me. I didn't say anything. Well, shut up. Okay. Hello, yes, Commander. We wish to congratulate you on your most recent victory. God, it sounds like we the honest trailer's guy. We realize you faced with a difficult decision said it is. in responding to the what? various requests yeah, for know. assistance. Also, shut up, he's talking. Regardless, you performed admirably. You're gonna get us in trouble. As agreed Shh. upon, the reward for your actions has been granted. Farewell, Commander. We hope that you are met with continued success. Panic has increased across North America. And I get 200 monies. $200. <laughs> Congratulations on seeing China. Here's $200. <laughs> Buy yourself something nice. You might be able to get like half of a Nintendo 3DS. Yeah. The council knows you made the Wait, right decision. Wait, a Nintendo commander. 3DS? With the I resources we have up. available, there's only so much we can do. However, our chief engineer did come up with something to help you keep an eye on things. The Situation Room provides constant monitoring of every member nation in the Council. Oh. If we allow panic levels to get out of control in any given nation, they're going to withdraw from the Council. Then they'll take their funding and additional support with them. Okay, so I gotta the keep everybody happy. The confidence in the XCOM project is shown on the primary meter above the main screen, which engineering has nicknamed the Doom Tracker. <laughs> Commander to mission control. Oh, those guys Commander down in engineering. You know, engineering <laughs> thinks they're funny, but they really just need to Hello, kind Commander. Of, you know, cool uh, little the bit. current research task is progressing as expected. However, it will still be some time before the schematics are ready for engineering. I'm sure you have other pressing matters to attend to in the meantime. Commander oh, so I can't do control. anything yet? Commander to mission control. What's this room? I don't want to select mission control. I want to look around. <sighs> Commander, Dr. Valen reports that research is progressing in the labs, but it will still be some time before the project is complete. While we're waiting, our local satellite network has just come online, and we can now begin scanning for new activity. The process could take several days. Well, it's a good thing a minute's a second, so... Is it? Yeah, look. Oh, it's yeah. four, five, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven. Like I should get to so sleep. fast. Yeah, scan for activity. 
Oh. Commander, schematics for the scope targeting system are complete. They have been sent to engineering. Great. Thy new research. Commander, with this research complete, my staff and I currently have nothing to study. I would like to ask your permission to autopsy the alien cadavers retrieved from your last two field operations. I'm sure you would agree that if we're going to defeat the aliens, we must understand their physiology. I concur. Begin the project. Thank you, Commander. Good word use. I will let you know when this research has been completed. Engineering online. Hm. It appears Dr. Shen's staff have finally figured out how to turn their machines on. Sick burn. Commander to engineering. Commander I don't like this inter-service rivalry. Can't we all just get along? Yeah, I mean, we are all, you know, trying to accomplish the same thing here. Yeah, we're in it ah, together. Commander. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. All right. Um, so. Okay, I like extra aim. Let's do extra the extra aim. aim. <laughs> I'd like extra aim for my gun, please. <laughs> uh, let's make four. Can we do that? I don't Is know. Is that crazy? Is that insane? You're the, you're the commander. Hmm. Oh wait, uh, I might be wrong. I'm not sure if you can put a scope on every gun. You probably can, right? I, I mean, and then I've got back orders, right? That's true for when the next guys die. Yeah. Well, submit the order. Fabrication of the scope device is complete. It has been delivered to the armory. I love it when Commander everything's built in barracks. two seconds. Commander yeah. to the barracks. So we go to the barracks. New items and weapons from engineering will always be delivered directly to the armory, Commander. Okay. You soldiers. Look, everyone's all healed up, except Daniel. Typical. Daniel. Just typical. We hire some new dudes. Sits on his butt and talks spaceships all day. What's that? Let's hire some new dudes if we can. Oh wait, no. I guess we already got a ton. Yeah, we got a whole bunch. But we don't have any Americans. Can I be from Russia? <laughs> sure. Okay. Um, so like one of my shoulders. Sure. Let's go with Marino. And we're going to give him a scope. Select the frag grenade and equip the scope from the locker. Okay, frag grenade. Why would you put a scope on a frag grenade, though? <laughs> That'd be awesome. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Commander to the situation room. Commander to the situation room. Oh, it's replacing room. the frag grenade. I get it. That does make more sense, yes. <laughs> yeah. Oops. That does make so much more sense. Okay. Should I give one to T'Challa too? No, he's he's got the smoke grenades, right? Yes, I believe so. Oh, so I guess it's just he has it regardless? Yeah, I guess smoke grenades would be an ability whereas this is inventory, so they're separate. Okay. Yeah, um, uh, Harlequin Red Sky saying this is a class feature. The uh... okay, okay. Well, I think I'll still won't give him the scope, not yet at okay. least. But Rico, you're gonna be that crazy motherfucker who just runs in too fast, but is still somehow really good at his job. Wait, but shouldn't Rico have a grenade? That seems like a Rico would would love grenades. He's now, not he's an aimer, the, he's... he's a doer. <laughs> it improves his accuracy, so when he's charging in, he's still accurate when he shoots them. Rico doesn't have time to be accurate. He's too busy just running headlong in. You gotta give him a grenade. I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna, no. I really feel strongly about it. Nah. Jan van Dyke. He looks super European, look at him. <laughs> <clears throat> 
No, I think we, we've got to rename him, right, and change his yeah. armor color. Yeah. Well, he's in loadouts. No. All right. Jan Van Dyke. Time to change some names. We got any Dutch names in chat that we can name this guy? I mean, Zoldi's Dutch, but I don't know his. Well, I do know his real name, but I've forgotten it. Wow. <laughs> All right. Someone said Juan. Is that a? Oh, because no. it's Jan. Okay, I get it. Jan. Oh, we should call him Yanni Rico. What? No, because then there's too many Ricos. I can't know, but it's handle funny. the Ricos. We Someone just says Yan Isbek. <laughs> Blaskovich. That's Polish, though. And he's American in Wolfenstein. Yeah, but like, of Polish ancestry. Sure, but I'm just saying that is a definite Wolfenstein <laughs> reference. Do we have any Netherland, Netherlanders? Netherlanders? <laughs> uh, so just look up famous Netherland people. All right, or like, or fictional ones, fictional. Okay. Dutch heroes. Oh, how about Paul Verhoeven? You know the director of. Uh, Starship Troopers and stuff? Oh. Uh, well, or we can stick with Jan Verhoeven. Jan. I do really like the name Jan. Okay. Uh, you're going to have to spell that for me. Alrighty. Oh, you, you got it. I did. All right. Now, he's going to be like the sensible straight-laced guy. Ooh, sensible. I don't think it's going to fit in. <laughs> uh, but he's gonna be and he's gonna hate the purple but he's gonna have to wear it anyway I don't know how to do a Dutch accent so pretend this is Dutch <laughs> I don't see why I should be wearing purple out there boy cracky <laughs> it doesn't seem camouflagey at all <laughs> someone said that he's the type of guy who should wear a helmet and I concur <laughs> he's the only one <laughs> yeah you Idiots. Why is no one else wearing a helmet? Yeah, and he's gonna wear like the practical ugly one. <laughs> you go snowboarding with? Yeah. Yeah. All right, Jan. Do you think uh, Jan's gonna die right away? I hope not. We're gonna give him a scope. All right, and we'll we'll customize Christian Petit. Oh, from France. Yeah. Someone French. Can we call him Marcel? Marcel what? Something, I don't know, Marcel something. What? What's the attachment to Marcel? Uh, my name's Mark. I'm named after someone named Marcel. <laughs> Thankfully, they just did a half measure with me, so I'm not totally lame. Although Marcel's been growing on me. Hmm. This would be a character who's unofficially named after me, if we're okay with that. Well, then you get two named after you. You could also have, like, Larry and Larissa. Mm, no. And no, no. God Empress Supreme, if you really wanted. <laughs> no. Oh, Wog8 says, name him after that French general guy from World War II. I'm sure there were many French, French general guys. Um, I think he means De Gaulle, but fuck that. Let's name him after someone from World War I. Well, De Gaulle. Uh, hey, give me some suggestions then. Uh, Fosh. <laughs> I am absolutely sure that you butchered that. Well, let's see you pronounced it, isn't it? No. Jean-Luc Picard? Yes. What? I think we need a Picard. We're not going to do Ferdinand Fosh? No, no, no. Jean-Luc Picard. Uh, okay. You're Larissa, if you're not gonna right, take this gonna seriously, I don't know how I'm supposed to. <laughs> he, you're goddamn right, he's gonna be bald. <laughs> Are there no the different body types? Sort of... All these guys seem really, like, really buff. Yeah, well, I mean, they're marines or something, right? And you have no women yet. What's up with that? I know. I want a lady. Yeah, you should look through all your, your crew and, and see if you got one. Well, first, I was we're told in 2012 there was binders of women around, so. 
Alright. Alright, we'll go we'll go look for a lady. Edith. Edith Rue. We're gonna make her me. Okay. Wait, you can't be French. You gotta wait for a uh or a Canadian. But I don't want to wait. No, Larissa, you got to wait for the right Larissa. <laughs> you are not French. I am almost French, but even I would not want to be. <laughs> uh, I mean, I would. French. I mean, it wouldn't be appropriate. <sighs> sorry, sorry, Larry, you got to wait. I don't want to. Wait, see if you can recruit uh, somebody. All right. Uh, I've got a full roster. I think it'd be a different, different menu. Uh, Our soldiers, I it's grayed yeah. out. Oh really? Okay, yeah, yeah. No Larissa's yet. When Larissa shows up, that's gonna be a big deal, though. It's gonna be a big deal, but after I've gotten attached to everybody else already. All right, let's go to the situation room. Let's Come on, Larissa. Give me the rookie council has sport. requested well, a word. Prove herself. I couldn't hear you. Hello, Commander. Not fine. We require your assistance with a unique matter. We expect that you will give it the same level of attention as you would for any other project objective. One of the captives abducted by the aliens has somehow managed to escape. If you could retrieve this woman, she may have valuable insight into the alien's operation. We'll transmit the coordinates now. So she's gonna Farewell, get. Farewell, Commander. We know you will not disappoint us. She's gonna get like investigated twice. Poor woman. Sounds like we better get to it. Like she just got away from the aliens, away from all of the sciency probing and shit. Now she's gonna do it again. When he started <sighs> that little briefing, I thought it was gonna go in a dramatically different direction. Excellent. <laughs> There's an issue that's come up. I want you to progress. see to it with your regular expertise. Certain photos of me have been released in public <laughs> and I need them all to... Okay, I got... Should... I think... I think we should do Picard. Instead yeah, of Picard. Verhoeven? Yeah, I want the Picard. The sensible guy doesn't even go on the missions? <laughs> well, hmm... Should we swap out Rodriguez then? Because Rodriguez oh, is, he's, he's got to be man. there. No, Rico <laughs> is, he's, he's all in. Yeah, he's got to be there. But I want to I wanna see how Picard performs. Rico's all like, put me in, coach. <laughs> put me in, coach. I'm ready to play today. Oh. God damn, you're singing. Uh -huh. All right, All right, I will be starting the betting pool for how many people will Larissa get killed. <laughs> All right, open her up. The drop in site for this operation will be in Canada. Number of people or number of people you think will die. You're space again. The number Anna of credits you want to bet. The only person known to have escaped from alien captivity. Our mission is to locate her somewhere on that block and get her out of there. Okay, we're gonna find Anna Singh in Montreal. What does Stone Thunder mean? Take note of the extraction zone, people. As soon as Anna Singh has been located, you are to bring her back here for immediate evac. Okay. A lot so, of people are betting that one person's gonna die. One person? Psh. Yeah. We're gonna run here. And then... In fact, everyone has bet that one person is gonna die. So if you wanna play the odds, you should bet <laughs> on two, three, four. Literally anything else? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna hide you over here. Scoot you. Time to that check alien this is unusually human in its appearance. Uh, Grave Vengeance they says I have faith in Marissa. There could be an infiltration unit of some kind. I'd oh, recommend man. capturing it for further analysis. Oh man, Ray Vengeance, that's a name I recognize. Uh, wait, who am I? 
I got T'Challa right now. Okay, he's my support buddy, so he's got to be somewhere close to everyone. Yeah. So you go hide here. And Picard. Is Hello. there a Jean Luck Picard here? Or Picard? <laughs> Jean Luck Picard? Jean Luck Picard. I've got a caramel macchiato for Jean Luck Picard. Uh, no, he didn't. That was Q and he had a oh, telegram or something. <laughs> From the episode Tapestry. All you got? I suppose I should have said I have a Earl Grey hot for Picard. And yeah. now I feel sad that I missed this amazing opportunity for a joke. Speaking but... of things. That guy looked creepy. He really did, didn't he? Yeah. I'm gonna move up here. How's my aim? 57? Ugh. That's not great. You can do it. Just do it. <laughs> Look at his ugly face. Alright, we're gonna do it. Oh my god! I, I get it. He did. Yeah, I told it. You listen to me, Larry. You're gonna be just fine. <laughs> Gonna go places, dollface. Damn it. If we're gonna do sexist jokes, I should be the one to do them, cause <laughs> right. damn it. <laughs> That's what you want. You know okay. how much I love being a 1960s lounge singer who calls people dollface. <laughs> well, you wouldn't be the, the lounge singer. I would I be would. the lounge singer. Okay, then I would be the, what, the, the casino manager? Yeah. Nice. I've always wanted to own a casino. Enemies in sight. Well, the music did this weird thing. You know who else did a weird thing? Wagate? Yeah, I just subscribed with Twitch Prime for six months in a row. Whoa. Now, can you remind people how to subscribe with Twitch Prime? I don't actually know how to do it, but I do know <laughs> that if you have Twitch Prime and you're using it to watch shows like Man in the High Castle and such, you're given a free uh, Twitch subscription every month. So if you want, use it on us. How you do that, I don't entirely understand, but do a Google search. I'm sure they'll figure it out. Yeah, you're a smart person. You can figure it out. Oh my god, yeah. there's aliens behind me. They're trying to flank us. Eh. No! That hit. I think it was T'Challa. Oh my. They're trying to flank us. Yeah, it was T'Challa. No, I'm uh. sorry, T'Challa. Okay. Um. So, what do we got here? We got at least maybe two over here, one over here, probably more. Um, Ugh, David nope. Fiegel says, Larissa, stop sprinting. Set up an Overwatch party. It's the best kind of party. <laughs> party, party, ya. Uh. That's the wrong way. Keep going the wrong way. I think the Chala. Is that a good Overwatch position? Sure. Seems like a really sucky Overwatch position. Mm, okay, yeah, you go there. Okay. Card. What am I gonna do with you? I'm gonna get you in some better cover, first of all. And then... Can I shoot you? 45% chance to hit? It's not great, but... It's a shot. Gamble. Always gamble. Do it. And I did it. I did See? it. See? I told ya. It's killed. Okay. Marino. I don't want to dash. Dashing is too far away. If you want, I can give you permission to dash. I don't need permission to dash. No targets available. Well, poop. Damn. I guess I'll just move more. Dash, you might say. I am dashing. Aha. This is... Ah. Should have just dashed in the first place. What did I tell you, Larry? What did I tell you? Oh no! You're gonna shoot at me! Oh my god. Oh! I'm sorry, Marino. 
Luckily, none of them are wearing their death trap helmets. Okay, there's only the one alien that was over here that we know of. Um, okay, Rico, you're up. You're just Rico, gonna get your ass over here. Uh. Is that a good angle? Rico's just gonna go for the angle. Should he stand out in the open like a fucking dumbass? Yes, that's what Rico would do. <laughs> that, was, would, that is what Rico would do. And then we're gonna shoot him. And it worked. For now. What's the matter with you, Rico? You got a <laughs> death wish. <laughs> And then he's like, well, it worked, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's such a Rico thing to say. He's so yeah. brave. Oh my God, what a hero. Enemy in sight. There we go. We got them. See them. Oh, and there's our- Help me! There's, Over here! There's our target. We found Throw Anna. Uh, I'd rather not do that, to be honest. Okay, fine, fine. Hmm, T'Challa's way out of position. I gotta get him somewhere much better. Uh, ah. Yeah. Let's go there. And Picard. Also, thanks to Dejanis, who just subscribed with Twitch Prime. Ooh, thanks, Dej. That's how I pronounce your name in my head, because I'm lazy. Nice. I guess. If we're going to reward <laughs> that type of behavior. Yeah, we are going to. No targets. Fine, no targets available. Ugh. Also, are you aware that we're six people away from having 7,000 followers on Twitch? Whoa. Really? Yeah. yeah. It's insanity. It is. Uh, no. Okay, Picard's fine. It's fine. He missed. How Picard did he is miss? safe. Over Picard here. was out in the open. I'm here. Okay, Rico's just gonna bum rush her, because that's what Rico would do. <laughs> I feel like he's just gonna like barrel into her and knock her down. <laughs> and then like expect a big sloppy kiss from her. Oh, I rescued the pretty lady, just like you said, <laughs> boss. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Hey, I shot it! Great shooting, Marino. Rodriguez, get over there. Rodriguez, get over there! <laughs> you have to help me! There's just so many of them. They're everywhere. We have to get out of here! You're right, we do, Anna. We should get the VIP back to the Sky Ranger as soon as possible. Let's get out of here, Anna. Just you and me. We'll go to Paris. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, T'Challa. I know this isn't like Where super I... relevant, but croissants are great. Yes, uh, you're right, that's not relevant. However, uh, it, they are great. Yeah. So how does changing your bet work in, uh, <laughs> work here? Are they able to change their bet or do they? Uh, I don't think you can. I would assume you can't. I mean, it would logically you can't. Uh, where do I want to take up position? Where do I expect them to come from? From where you least suspect. Yeah, but if that means that it's the place that I least suspect, then that would be the place that I most suspect. So then the, then the, like it does, that just confuses. Uh oh. If you were a robot, you'd be dead right now. Yeah, I'd just like fry and go caught in a logic loop. Go crazy. Um. So how do these rankings and credits work? Asks Marley. Uh, from what I understand, the more you watch and participate in these streams, the more credits you earn, you and are. credits are used for everything. I'd probably be dead right now if you hadn't shown up. Yep, you just watch them. 
because you're great. Oh, so mm, we're gonna move here. Oh my god, I'm operating the civilian. It's yeah. crazy. I would make her run as fast as she can go. Yeah. She's going to be irresponsible and kind of in the way. Typical civilian. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, it's Slender Man. Gross. Okay. Merino. I'm going to go over there. Uh, no. No. Merino was already Ooh. hit. Ooh. How much life do you have left, buddy? You've got two hit points left. I don't like this at all. 77% chance to hit. Let's do it. Take him down. Ah. Yes, he did. Nice. He did. All right, Rodriguez. Protect her. With my life. His <laughs> accent changes every time. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's kind of inconsistent, but, you know. <laughs> Um, T'Challa, you're gonna stay on Overwatch duty. Picard, you're gonna get... Uh... You're gonna go... Nope, wrong way. I'm expecting someone to jump from out here, this side, so then you're gonna go over here, and you're gonna Those go on Overwatch. Things. What's your strategy in this so moment? What are you thinking? Uh, I'm kind of speaking out loud and telling you what I'm thinking. But I mean, okay. like, you're telling people where to go. What's your overall strategy? Uh, get good? Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to elevate chat a bit here, but if you want to... <laughs> uh... Be boring about it. Uh, yeah, Anna, you're gonna just wait here. Because I feel like something's going to happen. I feel it in my bones. My bones feel normal, so I don't know what's going on. Oh, I need to reload. I'm ready. Haha, <laughs> I keep forgetting about that. Okay, Rodriguez, get over and protect her. What you need is a thousand round tripulse Chinese assault rifle. Yes, is that from that joke that you were telling me about earlier? Yes, it's from the hit movie, Deep Rising, starring Treat Williams. <gasps> Can we put Treat Williams in this game? <laughs> sure. Oh, yeah. we. I want to have Treat Williams' character from Deep Rising added to this first American we get. Well, I thought... Okay, sure. What, what? Well, I just, I, I figured you wanted something else for an American first, but we can do... Larissa, if there's any more relevant and, and person to include in this than the, Treat Williams' character from Deep Rising, I don't know what it is. Hmm. Are there any Deep Rising fans in chat? Please let me know. <laughs> so that you know that you don't have to be alone? <laughs> no, I'm never alone. I know at least three other people that like that movie. And I'm sure I'm when this gets posted to the archives. I'm really tense right now. Yeah? Yeah, I'm like, I'm waiting for shit to hit the fan. For the other shoe to drop? Yeah. Oh, garbage. Why didn't I put Overwatch on like an idiot? Also, Knight3150 says, I've seen it. It was all right. See, there's <laughs> dozens of us. Okay, T'Challa. What are you gonna do? You're gonna move right here. And you're also gonna be on Overwatch. Everyone's on Overwatch. Kaiser Logos correctly says we should name the dude John Finnegan after the character, not the actor. I just like talking about Treat Williams, but yeah, he will be named John Finnegan. His nickname will be Now What? Now What? Hey, Now What? You got any ammo? Now what? Hmm. Now she's all alone and unprotected. Uh-oh. Where are they? Oh my god, he's right there. 
I'm pretty scared. I'm super scared. I, I can click on somebody else first, though, right? Probably. Oh, card. You. 65% chance to hit. I like that Shoot odds. Him. Done. Nice. Have you missed yet? No, I don't think I have. The rest of it, you're on fire. I am on fire, aren't I? All right. Run, Anna, Oh, some run. folks are telling you to avoid the death cloud. Okay. I mean, that's logical. Yeah. I mean, I feel like you probably would have figured that out by yourself, but just, you know, helping you out here. Yeah. Anna's running way too far ahead of everybody because she's an idiot. Yeah. Typical civilian. Yeah. I'm, I like my little lore play, role play thing that I'm doing here. Yeah, this is great. I like Rico. I like the character we've been workshopping with him. <laughs> yeah, he's fun, right? Yeah. <laughs> Can you nickname Rico Damn It? <laughs> That's actually awesome. Yeah. Damn it, Rico! Get over here! <laughs> David okay. Fingel says, And Larissa, you have any idea how lucky you have been? No, I don't. That was referencing uh, me being your business partner. Ah, not Not the game. The card. All right, Anna, get in the get in the chopper. Thank you. Oh, we did God. it. Thank you Yay! So much. And this is on normal mode. Get back here on the double. All right, I have stopped the poll or the bet rather. Once again, the winner is zero. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, only two have been rewarded. They cleaned up because ten others voted on one. Ha! Ha ha! Losers. Look at all these promotions. Oh, one of them changed to a sniper. Rico is a sniper? Rico's That's not Rico. Rico's a sniper now? No. What? I can't, can I change that? I don't think so. <sighs> but I was you rushing all just, the time. Uh, Assault that... should have been Rodriguez and Picard should have been in a sniper. This is wrong. We could just rename them. But it's... Wait, wait, I kind of like the idea that Rico's supposed to be a sniper, but he's bad at it. <laughs> and he just constantly runs in. Yeah. We can save this. Uh, oh, what are these options? Shooting at or suppressing enemies also confers plus 10 aim to any allies attack on those enemies. What does that mean? Does it mean that everybody else so if I attack someone, everybody else gets plus 10 to aim on them? That makes sense to me, yeah. That doesn't sound quite as useful as firing the primary weapon as the first action no longer ends the turn. Because I want to be able to shoot my gun and then move. But, uh, I don't know. I, I kind of like the other one, but, you know, it's, it's your show. Hmm. Alan Mediv says, yeah, the hollow targeting is not that cool. Yeah, I'm going to go with Bullet Swarm here. Alan Mediv told you to jump the bridge, would you do it? Uh, yeah. Well, okay, it's your consistent. <laughs> yeah. All right. Our snipers specialize in dealing massive amounts of damage from afar, but without sufficient training, they're vulnerable in close combat situations. This makes me so choked. <laughs> they're vulnerable in close combat? Oh, yeah, Rico, yeah. he's loving this. He's supposed to be my tank. God damn it, Rico. Damn it, you Rico. Disappoint me. <laughs> you went to the wrong school. Uh, and I can't not select it. Like, what are some of the other there. upgrades? Can you see them or no? No, I can't actually access them. The assault class Dang. serves as our front line. They're the first ones into a fight and the last ones out. This is backwards. God. <laughs> I'm so miffed. Ugh. 
Picard isn't supposed to be my heavy. I love the idea of this. <laughs> All right, Rico, we're sending you to Ultra Fierce Assault School Squad. And he comes back and he's like, "All right, I did the sniper class. All I did. God <laughs> damn it, Rico. God damn it, Rico. He's kind of an idiot, but he's also yeah. still really charming, and everyone likes him anyway." Yeah, Rico's great. Yeah. Ooh, new facility available. We get a laboratory. Re increases research speed by 20%. And if I build them adjacent to each other, it's an extra 10%. Eee, let's go build some shit. You should have it on a separate level, I guess, then, right? And have them all next to each other? We will be watching. Uh, I don't want to- I don't want to go to the situation room, you damn tutorial. Commander, good news. The Council has donated a satellite. Our current satellite uplink facility can support up to two satellites, so I recommend we launch the new one immediately. Okay. The Council has donated a satellite. We get HBO now. <laughs> uh, select a country to launch the satellite there. Ooh, United States seems good at this, but there's Canada. Uh. Yeah, I do America. They're I, rated satellites. I mean, oh, it also apparently States lowers does... the panic level, which you might need. Does it? That's what uh, Kaiser Logo says, so if it doesn't, it's his fault. <laughs> All right. Well, do the USA. They do seem to have the best for now. Plus, it gives us even more money. And more science and engineering. So Facility launch satellite. Facilities at maximum capacity. Launch the rocket. Required. We have no interceptors in range of this satellite. We will not be able to engage any alien craft that we detect. We should transfer interceptors to this continent as soon as possible. Okay. With this additional satellite in place, we've gained a significant upgrade to our overall coverage. I recommend we begin scanning for alien contacts right away. All right, let's, but I want to go build a laboratory. Let's go do that. But I want to go to the laboratory. I can't. Ugh. Fine. <laughs> You're going to be trapped in the tutorial forever. Forever. You're telling me that we should risk the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things alive. Yes. Without a live specimen, I'm afraid we've reached the pinnacle of what my team is able to accomplish. Well, I don't need an excuse and how to do you suggest the lives of our troops. Let's do it. The autopsy I've just completed confirms that the alien's physiology is quite similar to our own. A highly concentrated electrical current delivered at close range should cause neuro... Close range? And what happens if it doesn't work? Do you really think this is worth the risk? I close do. range? We do not know our enemy. How can we hope to stop something that we do not understand? If we can capture one of these creatures alive, we may be able to communicate with it. And interrogate it. Find out what they want. Or tell where it they're the operating off. from. Yes. Yeah. That possibility outweighs all risks, in my opinion. I can construct a safe enough facility to house our captive, but I do not know how we could possibly communicate with it. Not to worry. I will see to that. All right. I'll speak to the commander. But I'm the commander, right? I just witnessed this scene. <laughs> yeah, you were off and doing something else. You're not very yeah. good at your job. No, oh, apparently. Sign new research. Capture a live alien. That's my new objective. Ooh. You know what really bothers me? Aliens having DNA. They're not guaranteed well, to have DNA. I've got a whole rant prepared about this, but that's a future thing. Wait, aren't they? <laughs> Why not? Um, DNA isn't necessarily going to be a universal uh, evolutionary trait. Um, there are other ways to, uh, to, to evolve that doesn't involve DNA uh, proteins. I don't know all uh, of the science, but... What I'm I've been reading about lately. 
Uh, is there anything on Earth that doesn't have DNA, like some weird virus or something? Commander, that might be considered based on Dr. Valen's report. Well, I recommend we begin organism. researching the new weapon she's calling oh, okay. the Arc Thrower in the lab. Once completed, we can send the plans down to engineering for fabrication, and then equip one of our troops with it in the barracks. Dr. Shen and the engineering team are also waiting on approval for construction of the containment facility that we'll need in order to house the alien captive. Commander to engineering. Commander to engineering. Okay. Going to engineering. Commander, no doubt you are aware of Dr. Valen's request to capture one of the aliens. A sound plan, but she fails to realize that we lack a facility to safely contain a live specimen. With your approval, my team and I will begin construction of a suitable facility. Yes, we will. That seemed will needlessly go. kind of antagonistic towards what's the <laughs> face. Yeah, she was like, yeah, but, you know, it's a, it's a good idea and everything like that, but she's an idiot. <laughs> like, I feel like building a facility for the alien was kind of part of the plan. Yeah. Uh, he's like, oh, you need to, to build, build, build facilities. Uh, it's, it's, it kind of sounded like, you know, the guy was like, we could build um, a zoo and have a giraffe. And then what's her face was like, eh, or that other guy was like, but we don't have a cage for it yet. You know, like we're focusing on the problems, not the solutions. Yeah, exactly. We're just like throwing blame around here. Yeah. Why can't we be the team that helps each other out? Thank you, Commander. I mean, we you all have a single the facility goal. Is ready. Yeah. Dr. Valen has asked to see you, Commander. No doubt she wishes to explain her plan personally. There is definitely antagonism I've here. had it with his attitude. Yeah. Do you see you know what the stakes are right now? I don't think he gets it. Ugh. Commander, I'm sure you've been briefed on my request. With your authorization, we can begin research on the Ark Thrower immediately. Immediately. Between All the right. two of them, I like her attitude more. Yeah, she seems a little more like Commander no nonsense. Control. Yeah, more professional. To mission yeah. Control. So we go to mission control. Commander, we're picking up widespread radio chatter indicating UFO sightings within our current satellite coverage area. We should begin scanning for contacts as soon as possible. All right, so we scan for activity again. Did you move the uh, interceptors yet? That satellite we no. Paid off. We're picking up an unidentified fast mover. If we scramble an interceptor now, we may be able to take it down. But we can scramble them. Scramble them. Real good. With chives and tarragon. Oh my god. Did you think that was a joke? Uh, yes. Oh, jeez. I know this oh, is I a like weird complaint. I like this little calendar thing. Huh? Um, well, I, I know this is a weird complaint, but... This game's a little too sci-fi for me in the military equipment. Like, why aren't we using F-15s? Because sci-fi. Oh! Like, I don't want a Raven. Do we do we get to do anything here, or do I just watch? <laughs> I guess I just watch. <laughs> okay. No, keep hitting space bar for extra damage. <laughs> okay. There's an alien moving at the crash site. Oh, no! Central, this is Voodoo 37. We have a confirmed kill on Bogey 001. I repeat, the UFO is down. I'll copy, over. Solid copy, Voodoo 37. Nice work. Central out. All right, people. Someone's playing Stellaris right now. She's like, oh, fuck, I shot down that crash car. site. She's coming into range now, sir. On screen. Magnify. Ugh, zoom and enhance cliche. I hate it. Wait, what's that? A reflection. Commander, I recommend we get a strike team to the crash site immediately. Okay. I guess we're going back to Germany. Um, Dejanis uh, brought up Xenonauts, which is a very similar game to this that uses more realistic equipment. Can I tell you a story, Larry? Yeah, tell me a story. I got offered a job to work on Xenonauts by mistake. What? More What's by the story there? Um, I used to work on a mod called Dawn of Victory, and I did oh, all the UI design stuff, and I made the website and all this. Sh 
and we got contacted by the developers and they were like hey do you want to work on this and I said, they need help back just be like sorry i don't know what i'm doing i would be a bad worker <laughs> and i realized you fool. Immediately I said yes because you should have said yes i just at the time i was very convinced that i was not good enough to do anything so oh still am by the way oh that's not true you should have done it but if I had, maybe there'd be no Temple Institute. Yeah, but you should have done it. Nah. I see a bunch of whole, uh, a couple of Donna Victory fans in there. Yeah, in it's chat. always nice when people in the comments on our YouTube videos are like, do something on Donna Victory, or have you heard of Donna Victory? I'm like, yes, yes I have. <laughs> I have indeed. We have visual and the Janet says their UI is ass, maybe you could have helped. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go start another mission. Open the bets. Oh, okay. Oh, I gotta go on. Our target site is near the German border. It German looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. There are three borders of, like a whole bunch of borders under me. What, what border? I need to know. Oh, shit, everything's on fire. <laughs> okay. Did you hear me making fun of your geography skills? We'll uh, from no. Strike one is authorized uh, to assault for the best. alien craft. Okay, so Rico is now a sniper. Do I still send him, play him? Send him as... to the front. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, definitely. <laughs> All right, we're leading into this. Like He's gonna die. We should expect heavy resistance here. I got a feeling Rico's son might show up if his dad dies. <laughs> Approach the craft with caution and attempt a breach if possible. Okay. Oh, Daniel's back, by the way. Nice, I guess. <laughs> you guess? Yeah. He's not our best man. <laughs> well, it's because he got injured on the first mission. Yeah. Also, and, Master uh, Ares wanted to know, note on snipers, until the skill is unlocked, they cannot fire after moving. Even once? I guess not. Oh. Alien activity. Um, but yeah, I did just check on Facebook and um, Rico has a bunch of sons and brothers all named Rico. <laughs> That's a pretty good laugh. <laughs> <laughs> you were into uh, that one. Yeah. He was just, he and his wife, are, they're just really uncreative. Yeah, just like their parents. I mean, yeah. they're separate parents, uh, whatever, never mind. We've got sectoids, I think that's what they're called, right? I hate sectoids. Sectoids. Okay, Picard's still going to be the calm, rational, like, outside perspective guy. Just, you know, silently enraged at everyone else's performance, especially Rico. Yeah. Uh, okay. 10% chance to hit. Do I want to give away my position just now? Don't do it. Go to Overwatch or something. Yeah, I think you're right. Run and gun. I have the run and gun option. Damn it, that needs to be Rico! <sighs> I'm so <laughs> annoyed. Running gun Picard! <laughs> yep, we all know that Picard is just a reckless... <laughs> he is, Larry. Haven't you seen Tapestry? We were referencing this earlier. No, I haven't seen Tapestry. He got into a bar fight with a bunch of Nausicans over a pool game, and he got stabbed in the heart because of it. Oh my god. I'm gonna dash over there. Come on, Jan! Oh, is it the director of Starship Troopers, almost? Yeah. Verhoeven. That's what I said. Okay, they're like psychically linked or whatever? Does that mean they're like sharing information? I don't know. Damn it, who got hit? Did Jan get. Jan got hit. Fucking Jan. Fucking oh, this Jan. is yellow. 
Uh, I both, I've got two shitty chances to hit. 65 is not that bad. Yeah. I, I think you should go for it. Unless you miss, in which case don't go for it. <laughs> All right, well, let's, let's go for it. I did it. I knew you should have done that. See, always listen to me. Oh my God. So if you shoot them while they're psychically linked, they die at the same time. That's amazing. Oh, awesome. Dude. This changes a lot. Two birds, one bullet. <laughs> All right, Dan. Let's move you up. Right, then, I'll go to the front and talk about spaceships, I will. <laughs> well, we're going into a spaceship, and I'll I'll talk about it. That was not British at all. That was totally British. You nailed it. That was great. No, that was embarrassing. I thought Dan I'm was here for a second. I'm myself. Mm. Also, everyone chat saying that we got that wrong. If you kill them in the thing, they both don't die, but it's something... I don't know. What? It's not what we... If you hit the one doing the linking, it, oh. they both die. But if I'm only hitting the one who's receiving the linking, only the one who's receiving the linking dies. So you accidentally picked the right target. That's amazing. Okay, I like that. I like that quite a bit. Hey, Jan, where are you going? What are you doing? I think there's like no good cover for Jan. Jan doesn't need cover. He has the knight. I am the knight. So he's just gonna dash over here. Fine. <clears throat> you sneaky bugger. Oh no! Jan just died! Oh my god, you got Jan killed! <laughs> Jan died! Oh no! <laughs> Shit. Okay, folks, press <laughs> F, pay respects. Jan Verhoeven. That came out of nowhere, too. Yeah. Jesus. Uh, what does T2 mean? Oh, it's on a cooldown. What? Not cool, man. <laughs> Who is going to direct Robocop now, says the <laughs> There's no, <laughs> there is no RoboCop sequel. Also, Bullock, or Bullock just lost a bunch of credits on you. Oh man, I'm sorry. So the 14 people who bet that one guy's gonna die are looking a bit, uh, looking a bit better. Oh, I just hunkered down. That's not what I wanted to do. God damn it. Whatever. All right, Picard. Larry, you're making mistakes here. You gotta get your shit together. Yeah, I'm getting sloppy. The alien craft is still intact. And they've got some kind of energy field protecting parts of the ship. We'll have to look for an opening. All right, well, we'll shoot on this guy. Bam! Oh my god, I got a shotgun? Ugh. Yeah. All right, Daniel, it's time to do something heroic. All right, then. I will do an episode on Star Trek. I will, boy, cracky. Yeah, get revenge for Jan. Okay, that was semi-effective. Larry, I don't know. I'm not liking your chances here. Yeah, they're not great. Oh! Dan! Why were you not doing a better job of hiding? Okay, can I use the sniper now? Nope, I can't. Wait, can you do a regular attack? Far left? I just put him on overwatch. Oh, okay. Alright, Picard's gotta get a lot closer. To withstand an impact like that, <laughs> at such a velocity, the materials used in that vessel's hull must be at least an order of magnitude beyond any element we know of. Alright, well... Take on this asshole. Nah, dead. I think uh, Grey Vengeance has lost some faith in you. He's now betting two people are gonna die. <laughs> oh, dude. How could you betray me like this?
Alright, Daniel, get to some cover. Shoot the fucker. Oh, That's right. your oh, mission. <laughs> They're already. Shoot you haven't turned any grenades. Dead well, there's gone. not there's not enough. Yay, rookie Orit has earned a promotion. Alright. Rodriguez. Get up there. And the card's gonna breach. Our readings can't be right. If they were, that's a being of almost pure energy. The readings coming from that creature. Ooh, what a like cheap looking effect. I've ever seen. Uh you can study it when it's dead, Doctor. Uh oh Let's take that thing down. Uh oh. Alright, alright, alright. I'm not letting um, Picard's chance. No, Picard is not in a good spot. Alright, Dan? Where do I want you to go? Let's throw it there. I don't think I've got an angle on this guy at all, so... Throw a grenade! Yeah, alright, fine. <laughs> There you go, Dan. Doing something. Mission accomplished. Yay, he killed it. Yeah, and that was my idea to do that. Vanished. Okay, only one guy died. Close the bed. Already, I am stopping the thing. Congrats to to everyone who bet one. That's a lot of people. That didn't have faith in me and were right. So Larry, Jan, you lost uh, your you lost your first squad member. How do you feel? I wasn't that attached to Jan, although I was a little shocked. We were all shocked. <laughs> it came out of nowhere. Yeah. Oh, look, Dan's been promoted to a heavy. Yeah. That guy's always wounded. Ooh, okay, both of these sound really good. So, for my corporal uh, upgrade, it can either have this, um, it, it removes my restriction on firing after moving, but it takes a hit to aim, or I can fire at anybody that anybody can see. Uh, and, Rico doesn't care about aiming, he cares about action. Uh, like, if I'm gonna go roleplay, which I pretty much have to, it's gotta yeah, be snapshot. Yeah, do roleplay. Okay, play. we're gonna do the roleplay. Yeah. We're not gonna do the smart thing, we're gonna do the roleplay thing. We made him bad on purpose, as a joke. <laughs> All right. He, he, Daniel can now shoot rockets. Cool. I'll let him know. I'm sure he'll be super <laughs> into it. Dan, I got some great news for you. <laughs> Ooh, we got some new research. Available. A whole bunch of research. Welcome back, Commander. Hey. Yourself a bunch I of wanted stuff. to speak to you about our current fleet of interceptors. It's crucial that we keep several of these aircraft on high alert. We'll need them to intercept any future alien contacts, and it's likely we'll suffer some losses in the process. I think it's also worth mentioning that even a full squadron of interceptors will do no good against our enemy if we don't know where they are. Additional satellite coverage will be required before we are able to detect alien craft elsewhere on the planet. Visit us in engineering should you wish to build additional satellites. Goodbye, Commander. Okay. It's time database. All right. We're going to do a little bit of housekeeping here because there's that interceptor thingy that we wanted. No, I'm, I'm in, man. I'm in. So, oh, I can only build a satellite? Do I have to research the interceptors? I guess I should also... Let's make a bunch of med kits. All right, uh... some folks in chat are letting you know that you're done the tutorial. Ooh. All right, this is... All on you. This is, this is all within my power now. We've still got some room to grow up here, but if we really want to expand our facilities, we're going to have to start excavating beneath the base. Unfortunately, the deeper we go, the more it's going to cost. Okay. 
Okay. Uh... Oh, also, medkits are reusable, so you didn't need to build that many. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> I thought... That was your very first decision post-tutorial. <sighs> well, I guess 14 different squad members are going to have them, and I'm never going to need to buy another... Another one. Oh, boy. Commander. Well, if I know you, Larry, miserable failure is not first, enough. But... Yeah. Okay. Can I ask you a serious artifacts. question for a second? Okay. Can you go back to that room, the one you were just in? This one? Yeah, I think so. Okay, do you like that light fixture up top where it's like the ring? No. Really? No. Ah, shit. It's cold and green. I hate it. Well, I mean, okay, I, I don't mean the color, just like the, the design. Well, the design's whatever. It's like, I kind of want to get a fixture like that one day from my place. Okay, I mean, you can do whatever you like. I want your approval. You don't need it, is what I'm saying. But I'm insecure and sad. You know this. <laughs> I should not have to explain this to you. <laughs> uh, all right, we're hiring a bunch of new soldiers. Let's do it, even though we got a ton already. But let's do yeah. it. Let's find some oh, more we ladies. Find Mark and yeah. Okay. Hmm. Huh, no great candidates. New. Let's get more. Worst case, Ontario, I am willing to be Australian. You soldiers. Uh, I don't see them here. Oh, maybe they uh, don't appear for a while or something? You the memorial. Ooh. All right, we've got four deaths. One of yeah. them is not... Or four, three of them are not my fault. Well, we don't know that for sure. Yeah. Oh, I apparently have to wait for three days. Okay, well, yeah, let's wait three days and see what happens. Okay. Officer training school. Squad size increased to five soldiers. Oh, that seems awesome. Okay. So I have to have a sergeant in order to start upgrading. Okay, that's good to know. The Janice says the tutorial deaths are locked in, not on you, but I don't know if I believe him. <laughs> Am I still on Team Larissa? I can't tell. I don't think you are. I still can't believe Dr. Fallon expects Larissa. Expects you just make it so difficult. Bring one of those things back here in one piece, much less alive. Okay. Visit the Gray Market? What? Several oh, members Mexico's of the doing great. expressed an interest in acquiring some of the artifacts we've recovered. However, we should be careful in choosing what items we release. The research team may not have discovered their true value yet. Oh. Interesting. So we can sell shit. Well, we're not going to do that yet. A little too soon, I think. I've still got money. Hmm. Yeah? See? Only 60 out. Fine. Well, actually, no. We'll monitor that contact, but I don't think it's related to the UFO activity. There comes that uh, accounting training. Yep. Um, now, what's this about interceptors? Like, that's just... That's in the hangar, right? I'd imagine so. You ship list. Also, some folks in chat are saying that damaged stuff can be sold without consequence. Oh, okay. I will sell the damaged shit then. And I've ordered an interceptor for North America. This is good. Okay. Uh, situation room. This is the gray market. Sell the damaged thing. Okay. Seems good. Fleet transaction. Great. Rusty Holt went to go cheer, but was not successful. When you re-cheer... Use hashtag charity, and for every hundred <laughs> shlim shlams, 20 cents goes towards direct relief. So then you can feel good about yourself twice. Great. Excellent. Uh, okay, but you know what? I think we're going to end it here, folks. Uh, I want to find Mark and Larissa. Yeah. The fine, fine. It's still the 15th of March. It's going to take too long. How do you how do you progress time? I think it's 
by scanning for activity, and then it goes oh, okay. through the event list. Fine. Yeah, so I got stuff. And the research oh, okay. is complete. Yay. Oh, okay, well, we'll see who see who the new soldiers are, and then... Okay, okay and then we'll end it. Yeah. All right, so we've got the arc thrower. Uh, it's a neurological disruptor? Makes sense, I guess. Okay, so it just confuses and shocks and stuns the enemy. Disables Like them. a fine wine. <laughs> Makes them sloppy and ineffective. Yes. Arc thrower can only be shot twice per deployment. Okay, so we need to use this to bring the aliens back to our place. Okay. Okay. All right. Or you could just invite them, maybe be nice about it. I mean, they kind of crashed our party already, so we don't really need to invite them anywhere. Uh, let's Fine. do the autopsy. We've made a number of interesting discoveries based on the autopsy results of the alien specimen you brought back. The research team is now referring to this particular variation as a sectoid, based on the unusual structure of its internal organs, which we believe to be the product of genetic manipulation. As we've seen in the field, genes. this species also seems to harbor some sort yeah, they of could just have telepathic doctors. ability. All right, and then we're gonna go build the arc thrower. Manufacture this shit. We're just gonna order two, because we're gonna be sensible about this. Oh yeah, now we're gonna be sensible. <laughs> okay, and now we're gonna go to the barracks. We're gonna view our new recruits. <clears throat> okay, who do we got here? A, we got an American. There is no Canadians. Oh my god. One I think of them's I'm fine a lady. Alright, we're gonna replace you. Uh, customize. First name. Are we doing. Yeah, let's do Mark. Mark. Last name. Dark Strider. No. Pick something Dark, else. Dark. Okay, uh. Uh. Oh, what's Make cool it name? Russian. No. Uh. Nightblade. No. No, oh, come I'm, on! I'm not naming you Nightblade. That's no. not even real life. No. Uh, but why not? This is awesome. Why can't it be Mark <laughs> Nightblade? We'll call Nightblade your nickname, okay? No, my nickname's gonna be Too Fast, Too Furious. Everyone no, knows that. No, no, no one knows that. Everyone come on, knows give me that. a Russian name. Dark Bladevich. <laughs> <laughs> I will pick for you. What? That's bullshit. <laughs> then pick a pick a better one. Darkblade or Night Strider? No. Pavlov was suggested. Whatever. <laughs> Aw. No, Nightblade will be your nickname because it's a much no. better nickname. No, my nickname is Too Fast, Too Furious. No, no, no. You're ruining my character already. <laughs> it's my game. But I am a participant. <laughs> yeah, but I still call the shots here. Fine, Larissa. Step on my dreams if you must. Yeah. We got Chegov. Or Bulgakov. I am too upset to say anything. Well, fine. We'll just go Ivanov. And then we'll change it later when you decide to stop being a baby. But... Okay. <laughs> Do you want a helmet or not? Yeah, no, uh, maybe. No helmet? Yeah, no helmet. Okay, let's skip all the helmet options. What about this this crazy look? The little fringe fan thing? No, can I just have standard messy hair? Ah. Uh, everyone's hair looks good. Yeah, so does mine. So what's the problem? Well, you said messy hair. Well, messy, yeah, she know, you know my unique style. Yeah, we'll do this like Weird 50s thing. How about that? Uh, okay, I guess. Oh my god, these hair colors are insane. I don't like this. I kind of look like Conan O'Brien, almost. <laughs> and should we give you some day-old scruff? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. No, not that much. Okay, that, okay. Sorry, <laughs> I was a little behind. I do not want a neck beard, please, for the love of God. <laughs> All right, which set of armor do you like? This I like the second one. The bulky one? This bulky one? Yeah, I like the bulky one, yeah. 
Okay. Is this like a weird form of dress up? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yeah, can I not be like... purple though? No, you can't not be purple. Everyone's oh, purple. But can I be red? Can I be like a special no. guy? No. But I'm, I'm Mark. A... <laughs> um. Hmm. Okay, there's still very few in the way of uh, people with the estrogen. I want more estrogen in my lineup here. I've only got two. We'll find Larry. She's out there. I know of it. I just hope that Mark doesn't die before Larry shows up. <laughs> that would be a tragedy. That would be. We wouldn't have to rely on Mark's other son, whose last name is Dark Strider. <laughs> uh, all right. But no, I think we're calling it here. Okay. Yes. We will see more of Mark Ivanov uh, Mark Dark next Strider. week on Wildcard Wednesday. Uh, where we'll be back playing this next week, but... But Larissa, did the streams ever stop? The streams don't stop, Mark. I'm glad you mentioned that because I'm playing again on Friday, but this time I'm going to be playing The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, where I'm going to routinely fall off cliffs, much to my frustration and Mark's delight. It's true. And, uh... And, uh... We're, and then on Saturday, we've got <laughs> Stellaris and Victa. It's kind Which of I'm our sure main you're thing. all aware of, so I don't really need to go into that whole spiel. Um, but yeah, that'll be on uh, Saturday. There's a there's a schedule uh, down below on our Twitch page there that converts our time to your local time zone, so you have no excuse to miss a uh, stream. But otherwise, we'll see you on Wednesday for another edition of XCOM. And uh, yeah, that's that's it for me. You got anything yeah, to yeah. add there? I just want to say that I had a good time. I thought this was fun. Yeah, this this is de I, I definitely like this game. I can 100% see why people are so into it. Nice. Um, so it will be continuing. So thank you, everybody, for joining us. And we shall see you on Friday. Bye. Bye.